Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. Harumph. England. What's up, guys? Hey. We are back with uh, episode... This is 35? I 35? don't know how to count. I think it's 35. Map. Um, so, <clears throat> last time, a uh, quick summary before we jump into what is a giant circle, apparently. Um... We all just kind of, uh, we kind of excluded Shart, and Strahd fucked with us a little bit. Uh, we found the Tome of Strahd, mm -hmm. right? The Tome of Strahd. Um, we have a, a new mission, uh, to help the Knights of the Silver Dragon. Uh, and we have to now explain that to Casimir, because he thinks we're going to the Amber Temple, and that's definitely not what's happening. So, yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, uh, Rufio, you were the last one out of Argenvostolt. Yeah. Everyone else uh, had traveled at that point. Uh, while Rufio's up there, is there anything that you two want to say to each other or particularly to Dirt? Anything while you guys are walking down? Uh, no, I'm kind of just in my head. Okay. Okay. Brooding. And, and you're just kind of like keeping to yourself? <clears throat> Actually, I'll, I'll ask Dirt how he's doing. Um, I, I'm, I'm doing better. Um, really can't wait to get this blood off me. Yeah, understand that. Been there before. <laughs> um, okay. Have you seen me go crazy a little bit? I, uh, yeah, I have. You kind of get all blank eyed and you start frothing at the mouth more than usual. No okay. offense. I gotta figure out what the fuck is making that happen. Um, I mean, it kind of only started happening when you got the axe. That's what I'm afraid of, because I can't let it go. It won't let me. What do you mean, a what? I think there's something wrong with it. It, like, I physically, it won't let me not use it. Won't let you not use. Oh, okay. I mean, we can we can ask maybe Casimir. That's what I was gonna. I was thinking about doing. Might be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so as you're you're leaving the compound, uh, Shark, you hear in the back of your head, just very low. Keep me safe. And as you go in, uh, <clears throat> Rufio, as we stated, you kind of. Attuned to the uh, to the sword, nothing really happens. But you feel that that flaw kind of uh, uh, come up. I forgot what the flaw was specifically. I, I didn't. You didn't. You have it. Yeah. So it's on there now. Uh, and as you walk down, you you find this massive coffin. And as you guys are looking at Rufio, it's it's like a split second where you look down at the fire that Casimir's built, and you look back up, and there's this just giant wooden coffin. And Rufio, as you peel it back, it says Fear or Grare on it. And a swarm of that's come out as you hear this haunting laughter. And we'll pick it up from there. <clears throat> He's fucking with us. Still. How does he know where we are? He has eyes everywhere. Yeah, I don't think we can really get out of his sight at this point. I'll walk over to dirt and start. Like, I'll take my water skin and start trying okay. to get Dirt, his hands, at like, this clean. point, he's already disarming, and he's just kind of very panicky. Hey, it's all right. It's fine. Uh, no, this uh, is, it's, you, remember me with the tree? Remember? Yeah. Was, yeah. No, it's the same thing. It's it said, not. It said my name. Yeah. No, I, I, it was my body. Do you remember that? You remember? Yes. Yeah. It, Dirt, he's just, he's fucking with us. He's trying to get us off. He's trying to scare us. He's doing a good fucking job. Yeah. Don't let him. I just, I need to, I just need a moment. And he just kind of pushes past you. And he goes off to the kind of, to the forest. Uh, he's on the outskirts where you can still hear him and see him. But he, he's just being moody. I'm looking around to see if I can find any of Strahd's eyes. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, perception for me. Uh, ten. You look around and... You hear the, the night sounds of different crickets and <clears throat> birds and animals. You can assume any kind of animal that's followed you and on your travel. You've seen wolves occasionally. You can assume that that's Strahd keeping tabs. But you don't really see anything immediate in that area. 
Casimir, did anything happen while we were gone? No, um, I mostly stayed out here. I had this fire, and it was just very eerily quiet from from there. Did you guys get done what you had to do? Uh, not really. We have, we have something else we need to do. Okay, great. We do that after the temple. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Before the temple. What's what's important? What's so important in that that we we're we're going back on this deal now? So you remember, you you fought Strahd. Have you heard of Argenvost? Yes, I know of Argenvost. Okay, well his head's missing, and so all of the revenants in his army inside are now evil. So you want to bring the skull back to appease evil revenants? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then Glad let's we're on the go. same page. That was sarcasm. No. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, okay, Casimir. You, you, we have one of two ways of doing this. We're gonna go, and you can come with us, or we can go, and you can go somewhere else. Wow. This is how you do alliances, huh? It's I either mean, your way or no way. There's really no. There's nowhere else for us to go. Don't you understand? This is how we. We go to the temple. No, we don't go to the temple. Look, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And this is how... This is how we get the help. We fought Revenants before. We know how strong they are. Look, it's not going to take long. Where's the Where's the temple going? You've waited hundreds of years to be able to go to this temple to see if this is where your sister is. What's the harm in another couple weeks? You don't fucking get it. And he's just, he's gonna, he just sits down. So you're I guess if, if it was your family member, if it was that fucking crybaby in the forest, you'd probably go for him, wouldn't you? I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna hold an Eldritch Blast yeah. in my hand. Mm-hmm. That's supposed to intimidate me now. I don't, let's not. Let's not do this. Fine. Here. The child, or let's say, what if it was your sister, or your parents, or your guardian, anything. Someone who is so important to you. I've waited years for that. So you don't have any room to lecture me. Okay. And let's say, let's run a hypothetical. Let's do you it. You could take care of it now, or the three of us decide we need to go here. You, We, you, we promised you we would help you in your quest. And you and your thing, but we we need to do our own thing. That would that would sit perfectly fine with you. If it's for the betterment of everyone, then I don't see how I could go against it. I this don't know is if my, it's for the benefit of everyone. Do you you want, don't, but I but we do. Do you want Straw dead? Yeah. No. You know what? No. I want my fucking sister back. She's gone. There is no getting her back. What is going to happen when you get her back? What's to stop Strahd from doing something? Doing what? I don't know. I'm not Strahd. But I know that Strahd has eyes everywhere. Because he's been fucking with us. He fucked with us in there. He's fucked with us through our walks through the forest. There's a bigger problem. Getting mm. your sister is a priority. But it's not going to stop anything further from happening. We have to deal with the root cause. And to deal with the root cause, we need to get that skull, bring it back, and have the revenants on our side. So you can either come with us, or you can sit here and cry about it. Because we're going. Okay. So, here's what <clears throat> I'm gonna do. I'm going to go to the Umber Temple myself. Uh, and I'm gonna take care of this myself, so... You're going to kill yourself, basically. Is that what you're... No. ...saying? Getting my sister back. Casimir, you didn't come into a... a... a, a castle. A, a, a mostly abandoned castle with us. Because you aren't a fighter. You're gonna go to a temple by yourself. I don't think you can lecture me on what I am and what I am not. You said it yourself. I'm using your words, not mine. You need our help. You said that. 
I don't remember much, but I remember that. I'll think about it. I'm gonna storm off and go to dirt. Okay. Uh, what are you guys doing? I mean, I want to talk to Casimir, but it doesn't feel like the right time right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That heated up quick. Yes. Uh, Absidy? Um, look, I'm sorry for getting heated. We've had, uh, a lot of mental, I don't know, fuckery. I can't even think of the word because of Strahd. No. And I, you're not the only one who's who's lost or doesn't have someone close to them right now. But we need to stop Straw. We need to be ready. I'm we need your this. help. You need our help. It's a delay. It's not something we saw happening. But there's bigger things at play. Casimir. And, oh. <clears throat> sorry, you and you think getting the skull is This is gonna appease the revenants. You you've obviously not been around revenants long enough. Ah we have. How long? A long time. Okay, then you know that unless their task is complete, they don't die. They keep coming back. I don't know if uh, bringing a skull is going to bring them any peace. That's, I don't believe, their end goal, is it? If I remember... Get a meta real quick. Sure. It was... The whole thing was that... Remind me, Pat. We're trying to free the the souls of the knight, the knights of the, the Silver Dragon. Right, because it's not that their, their quest... Their quest is to... Kill Strahd. Kill Strahd. Kill Strahd, yeah. But they're not... They're like essentially cursed. They're like to their, yeah. That, okay, that's by what I the thought. skull being removed, they can't. We're leave. not we're not off base here, right, DM? No, that's what that's what. Okay, just making sure that I'm we're just, arguing. I'm just right being point. a shithead. No, no, no. Yeah. You should be a shithead because this is exactly what's happening. I'm just making sure that we're on the right. Yeah, path. we're probably cutting. We're not. Out. Yeah, we're not. I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> stupid. <clears throat> okay. Their mission isn't to get the skull back. The skull back is what's preventing their mission. Our missions are in alignment here. You, us, the Revenants, we all want Strahd dead. So that's what we're going to do. Look, I'm. we did not know this was going to happen when we made the deal. And the deal's still good. I don't know what I need to do to convince you that. But it's the truth. I'll think about it. Thank you. Can I get some meta? How do I feel about uh, Casimir from prior to entering as and not having this one flaw? You tell me. And now, well, I don't. I want to know like how aggressive is the change? Fairly aggressive. Okay. All right. <clears throat> what Casimir's change? <clears throat> no, my change. Mm. Heard that. Did uh, <clears throat> did Casimir walk off? No, he's still sitting by the fire. He's just kind of staring in the fire. I, I walked off, though. So it's just me and him? Mm-hmm. Hey, Casimir. Yes. I don't know if you realize this, but um, my mission is also a little bit different from theirs. I'm trying to find my brother, too. Okay. We are in somewhat of alignment on that. <clears throat> Do you ever have visions of your sister? Constantly. Same. Not your sister, my brother. <laughs> See, that's the Casimir that I like. You're a good guy. It's just a shame that in order to kill Strahd, there's going to be things that are going to get in the way. Unfortunately, it seems like this is a thing that we have to do, because I don't like it either. We got to go back to a part of town that doesn't give me fond memories. But I do think that your help will be beneficial to us. That's fair. I do have a question for you, though. Sure. Um, do you know anything about cursed weapons? I know about different kinds of curses. I've shown the axe. Now, I'm gonna warn you. I can't let go of this right now. 
Okay. But I think whenever I get hit, something changes in me and I start hitting anything in my path. And I don't know how to stop it. See. While he's kind of inspecting, you just hear... Uh, his eyes kind of dart back and forth across the uh, the axe. And he goes, I... It looks pretty archaic and a little nasty. I just, without touching it or taking it or attuning to it, I can't... I can't really identify it. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Thank you. Of course. Uh, what I said before, though. We'll get her. Just like we'll get my brother. I appreciate that. Uh, Rufio, you are in the the woods now with Dirt. Uh, how's Dirt look? He's, uh... He's just... He's kind of just sitting. And, uh, he found, like, this stump to sit on. And he's currently out of his armor. Like, nothing on him. And he's just kind of staring at this tree. And if he had, like, heat vision or something, like, he's just burying a hole in this tree with his look. I'm gonna just throw an Eldritch Blast at the tree. Is that... Oh my god, you did that yourself. Funny. Weird. That's funny. I, uh... I talked to your god. Oh, good. How'd that go? It's really hard to hit. You really tried hitting a god? Three times. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> uh... Dirt, you're... You're gonna do great things. You're you're not going to get stuck here. You know that we're, we're not going to leave you behind. I know, it's just so you, you know, we've been doing this for a few months now and it just I like to think I'm big and tough, but I'm not. I disagree with that statement. There's been a lot of times where you've actually come in big and tough. You saved Shart. If it wasn't for Shart, I mean, he he saves us most times because of how fucking big and scary he is, but yeah. you saved him. Valakai might have burned to the ground if you didn't. Like, worse than it is currently. <laughs> Who knows where Absidy and I would have ended up. It's just... Sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. What kind of what kind of feeling do I have to, to dirt? Is it a little different, or is he, like, super duper pure? He's kind of He's pure. like 12, right? He's 12. Yeah, so He's a 12 year old. My my feelings towards him don't really change all that much. No. I'm 13. Want the best for. <laughs> um I just I I mean just sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. That's all. Well, you can take solace in Lathander. Is that what his name is? His name is Lathander. He's uh he's pretty fucking handsome. That's why I asked. I wasn't sure if it was Hor or not. It's definitely not Hor. He's way more handsome than Thor. Than Hor. Yeah. He kind of looks like Thor. I guess so. Um. I'm just. We'll just fucking see how this thing goes. We know where we're going for this skull, right? Yeah. We're. I think you should stay out of the bone grinder. Yeah. Yeah. Stay with Casimir. Okay. Keep an eye if on Casimir. Fucking Casimir comes. He's gonna come. You gonna make him come? I mean, all day. I wasn't mean like that. I I'm know. Twelve. <laughs> yes. If we have to tie him up and throw him in the back of the wagon, then we'll get him to come. But he's going with us. We're gonna. I. I can't break this pact with him. I told him we were gonna do this and we were gonna help him with his sister, and I fully intend on making that but we have other pressing issues understood little kids are dying in Barovia because of these women I can't let that happen anymore no that's that's fair we'll take care of it you alright yeah I'm burping hot yeah no I'm, o I'm okay I'll be okay you wanna you wanna go back or you wanna sit here for a little uh, bit do I, you need a do you need a minute I just need a moment all right. uh, I'll catch up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go back. Okay. Uh, and as you do, you hear just 
and you see this giant like fireball and you hear crackling cool guys don't look at the explosion <laughs> uh, as you go back to the campfire we have you know uh, Casimir and Sharp kind of talking and Absidy where have you been at uh, I've just been oh um, yeah <laughs> I've just been off uh, looking at the book Mandarin okay well you keep coming back as you keep going through these pages you see these different like you can assume are arch devils and demons and lots of nasty things but you keep coming back to that symbol that sigil it's like it's calling out to you mm-hmm. doesn't say anything but it's you're just kind of fixated just the way the lining is and is he just do, are you doing this in the open no I was off in the woods kind of like a I don't know, let's call it a hundred yards away from where dirt was. Okay. So enough that I could hear, let's say 50 yards. I could hear everything, but I wasn't with an eyesight. Yeah, you're not out in the open with mm-hmm. it. Okay. But if everyone's coming back, I'll hear that, mm-hmm. and I will, yeah, to start closing the book. Okay. And you reconvene at this campfire. What are we doing? Are you coming with us, Casimir? Um... I'm thinking about it. How old is your sister? She would have been 20. Well, that doesn't completely align, but... The Bone Grind... Real quick, actually, before I go into that, do we know that the Bone Grinder has the witches who are making the... No? No. Then fuck my thing. That was it. I just asked if he's coming with us. I'll think about it. What is there to think about, Casimir? Don't really have the uh, a need to talk to you. Well, I need to talk to you. Yeah? We made a deal. We did. We said we were going to the Amber Temple. The plan is to still go to the Amber Temple. So where, so where is this thing that we're going to? It's near Barovia. So, it's on the way to Valakai. Yeah. So, I can stop by Valakai, and when you're done, you can come back. No? Yeah. Super okay with that. Let's just do that, then. Cool. Let's do that. And he just kind of rolls his eyes. I'm going to go for a walk. You are the moodiest old guy I've ever met in my entire life. This coming from you, you're like a fucking teenager. Much younger than you. Well, no shit, dude. He's a fucking elf. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At least I have a little bit of a right to. Haven't had elf blood before. I think we need to rest, guys. It's been uh, it's been a hell of a day. Yeah. Yeah, and let's do it. Dirt comes out, and his eyes are super puffy. Yeah, let's go sleep. This is cool. I had a great time Back with all to of you. being a bad boy who doesn't care about N- stuff? Nope. I just cried really hard and I blew up a tree. I would like to go to bed now. <laughs> I did see the tree thing. Respect. Oh, yeah. No, thanks. I was... I, I pulled a U. I was angry and I destroyed something. Yeah, except you destroyed the thing you wanted to destroy. So, you know, a little bit different. So, better. <laughs> yes, absolutely Bingo. better. And you all... Rest up for the night. You take your long rests. Remember to uncheck that reset maximum. Yeah. Uh, Are we keeping watch? You know what? I'll say we'll keep watch. Who wants to take first watch? Mm, I'll keep first watch. Okay. And I I won't let you roll for it. Nothing really happens. Eventually, Casimir comes back. Uh, very icy shoulder. Cold shoulder. Rolls that was all, that was behind his back. It was behind his back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and just kind of bundles up and knocks back out. Who are you waking up next? Uh, Absidy. All right, Absidy. But uh, before I, like, go to my corner of the fire, Mm -hmm. something's different about you. Not in a good way. I'm driven. It's not not in a good way. What's going on? I told you that I'm not letting what happened when I was with Irina happen again. And I won't. And that's my focus now. I'm still going to kill Strahd. 
uh, this this sword that you you gave me it's giving me more of a sense of people I kind of I feel differently about Casimir when I came out of Argenvost Holt than I did when I went in and from the time I saw you before I attuned to it until I attuned to it now you're just darker Oh man, maybe you're just reading into things. We've had a lot go on. I think you're just... You're tired. Insight? Roll insight. Oh, 14. Yeah, you roll, do roll I roll perception? perception? Mm-hmm. 18. Are you lying? Uh, I'm... Can, I mean, Metaphorically, he, I'm being... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah don't really see any reason not to believe him. Maybe. Just... Do you remember when we were fighting for Irina's affection? Yeah. Do you remember when I lost that? Lost her affection? Yeah. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Do you remember why? No, actually. She said it was because I was a broken person. She said I was broken, and I had too many pieces to pick up in my life. And it would have been difficult for her to do with that, and deal with that. So, before you do anything stupid, if you do anything stupid, take it from the guy who's done all of the stupid, and just give it another shot. Give it another second. And I'll pat him on the shoulder, and I'll go lay down. Okay doing anything in particular on your watch I'm sitting, besides keeping watch yes what would you like to do um so everyone's asleep now yes right I want to sneak into wherever where, where wherever his stuff is I want that helmet that okay lets where me do you keep things. the helmet would you keep it in the bag of holding or would you keep it with you no I keep it with me I keep it with all my other armor and stuff okay so it's kind of like in a pile yeah it would be like I feel like it would be under like I would put like my chest stuff over it it would be, like, on the ground and then chest things and then, like, all of my other stuff on top of that. Okay. You can definitely stealth to see if you can get it. Okay. 24. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, uh... You kind of just tiptoe in your Jordans and you go right over to the, um... Sorry, you go over to the, the things and it takes you a little bit because everything is heavy and loud and Rufio is, but seems to be a very heavy sleeper. Like, it clatters at one point, and he's just like, uh, I'll fucking kill you, whore. Uh, <laughs> and eventually you get this helmet, this horned helmet of understanding. Okay, so I, I walk a little bit, well, yeah, I'll walk a little bit away, a couple steps away. Okay. Uh, put it on, and then uh, read that symbol. Okay. In the book. So... The symbol under it simply has the words Abdadon, A-B-A-D-D-O-N. That's so many vowels right up your alley. (laughs) Oh, it's perfect. And with it, you get these instructions on how to summon Abdadon. Oh, they're already written down. It's got that prep, baby. If you like to read it out loud to yourself so everyone else at home can know what the instructions are, you may do so. Or if you want to keep it to yourself, you can also keep it to yourself. Hmm. I'll read it, you bitch. I'll read it. Okay. Kill three coats. <laughs> Kill 14. Uh, Find a 12-year-old. Sacrifice his testicles. Should I read it as Ugh. myself or as Absidy? What do you guys feel? You should go Absidy. Absidy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Under the guise of the moon, you must take what you hold most dear and bathe it in the blood of an innocent. Take the heart of a man of faith faith and and crush. Oh, crush it into the innocent blood. Take the horn of a ram and fill it with the blood. In jest, repeat. I call upon the prince of light. I call for his wisdom. I call for his power. 
so I may make it my own. By his hand I am enlightened. Over your chest carve his symbol. May his light shine upon you. Metagaming. What That's the some fuck? fucking shit right there. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. What the fuck? Please, Bank, don't look at my search history. <laughs> <laughs> so with that in your head, you just kind of hear distant whispers of just... Just like something trying to communicate with you. Maybe Abdomon. Or someone. But when you read that and you read that last line, may his light shine upon you. What was the last line? Uh, in front of me. <laughs> I need to make that. May his light shine upon you. You you kind of hear that like someone behind you and you turn and there's no one there. The hairs on the back of your neck stick up. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh and other than that, your your night's pretty pretty quiet. Who's next? Um well, obviously I put the helmet back okay go so. ahead and stealth back 26 <laughs> and <laughs> i wake up <laughs> huh <laughs> uh you go over and it's like you weren't even there you even remember where how it was tilted and under everything and you're able to place everything perfectly back on without anyone being the wiser ha suckers i'll wake up shark but you're fucking nerds <laughs> Okay, sure. We doing anything during our watch? No, nothing this time. Okay. Your your watch is fairly uneventful. But after about an hour of just staring into the fire, you hear that voice in the back of your head again. So hungry. So, feed me. Feed what? And as you, you're kind of staring at your blade and your arm starts tilting over and your arm kind of points at Casimir with this axe kind of pointing out. Haven't had elf before. (sighs) Yeah, not doing that. We could do great things. Bring back your brother. I'm gonna bring back my brother. So, with my help, we can beat the devil. I can beat the devil on my own. You can try. I don't need your kind of help. If you're gonna just tell me to start killing my killing people that are helping me, he's been good to me. And it just kind of fizzles out. Anything else? Just shake it off. Okay. Uh, rest of your night. Fairly, fairly simple. Fairly easy. Uh, you wake up. I'm guessing either Casimir or Dirt. Right, I'll uh, I'll wake up Casimir. Yeah. And I'll say, you know, for the sake of clarity, the rest of the night goes fairly well, and you all gain the benefits of a long rest. Yeah. Ooh. Hooray. <clears throat> all right. First thing in the morning, uh, Casimir is already getting all of his things ready together. He's getting his horse ready. So, back to Valakai. What's left of it, yeah. To the fucking mountain. Yep. You seem chipper this morning. Yep. This is weird. I don't like it. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, no, I'm good. Let's go. Mm, dope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dope, dope. Um... And so, I mean, it's it's going to be the same kind of like two week journey before you get to Valakai. Uh, anything in particular that you're doing within this two week span? I know a lot to ask. Uh, consistently praying, out. like always, writing in my journal, Tahor, your girl. Raven Queen, all that good stuff. My diary, um, bitch. I'm I'm going to uh, like check the road a little more. Uh, this time because of the because of what's happened in Valakai for mm-hmm. like uh, people that are kind of like trying to steal or whatever because I know that that's a no no sure due to my my oaths 
So I'm going to be trying to be a little more vigilant about that. Okay. Shark? Uh, same thing that I did on the way to uh, Arkansas. Just look for signs of... Look for signs of Paul. Vin. Oh, Vin. Okay. Um, and you don't really... Once again, you don't really see anything. Okay. But the, yeah. but the voice in your head has gone. That's gone. Mm-hmm. For now. Okay. Uh, in Absidy, anything that you're particularly doing for the next two weeks? Um, I am still, I, I'm still reading the book mm-hmm. just to keep up appearances. Okay. Um, cause I don't want them to know that I, that you figured something, that I figured out. something out. Okay. So that's pretty much it. What I'm a little, no, oh, right. he's the only one that knows. That's right. What? That, that he, you that you're reading the book. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, um. Are you keeping it a secret at this point that you're reading the book? Or? Yeah, I'm still keeping it a, a secret, but. Okay. I'm just still pretending, just keeping. Keeping appearances. Yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. I'll say about a week out from your, your journey, uh, you kind of meet into this fork road. And at this point, I would say conversation between the three or four or five of you has been pretty like quiet. It's been a lot of river up ahead. Ground noted. Just very small talk is that there is strain in the group at the moment. And you, you make it to this kind of funneling uh, chasm in the road where there's forest on one side, forest on the other. And it's it's about dusk and you start seeing the full moon come out. Uh, and as you do, you hear in the distance the howling of, of wolves. Just mental note. Uh, Great. As, <laughs> uh, in about 30 minutes as you go in, you you start hearing more of those wolves. Those wolf howls, they get a little bit louder, a little bit more aggressive. Um, and you're at this pit. If you want to roll perceptions, you can. Go ahead, guys. Nine. Three. Natural 20. Natural 20. For the past about 20 minutes, you've been followed. You can hear the cracks of different feet pressing into different wool, like leaves on the outskirts of the, the brush. And at this point, you've kind of just been notating it to yourself. And when you get to this juncture, you hear more and more footsteps kind of around you. Uh, nothing that is a footstep I would recognize. I mean, it sounds pretty heavy. I wouldn't say you recognize it. No, I mean, I know his feet. No. We're good. We're Not cool. that kind of feet. Gotcha. <clears throat> hey, boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be ready. For, For what? what? And with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dirt and I are kissing right now. <laughs> Pedo. Okay. Who's, uh... Who is leading the charge? Um, I would say it's would probably it, me. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. If, yeah. You, if you heard stuff, you'd probably be the guy that's up front. Yeah, I'm like tightening belt around my my fanny back. <laughs> <laughs> my man purse. I got this we thing. didn't even touch on the fact that I'm probably still buck naked. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Uh, yeah. uh, I assumed Just we... Fucking hanging orc. <laughs> they finally... I, I, I assume they probably found something on you. I thought we had the Absidy's last cloak. I thought that was what <laughs> yeah. you were wearing. Yeah. Uh, it's basically a gym sock. Uh, where are you at, uh, Rufio? Uh, I'd probably be right behind Shart, just because we're the tanks, Let's so we're you. naturally... Does that here work, or are you all the way in the back? Uh, no, center seems fine. Okay. And then, what, Casimir's here? Or, you know what? We'll put dirt here, and we'll put Casimir here. Cool, cool. I'd be up let, a little let, bit. Let's put dirt in the center. Okay. You want to stagger it a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Let's not make everyone on top of each other. How about that? Yeah. You guys are a group. <clears throat> and we're not talking. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're not Coolio. Uh, and as you get to the, the fork in the road, you see a gentleman in very common clothes. Her. Oh. Wait, gentleman or her? A man. I said here. Her. Oh. oh, okay. Like as in, I like the way you move it right. Or right and or he's... Back. uh kind of panting a little bit and he's just bearing down into into you shark I don't like this what's happening 
You guys are the ones who fought with the, uh, the paladin. Oh, I see you over there. Hello. Hi. You're, uh... Do I, do I know you? No, but we know about you. I'm gonna take the scythe out and open it. What do you know about me? I you know you're a little bit of a crybaby. Oh, really? Yeah. We want to see out. what you're made of. Oh, real me. You want me. Well, the whole group. I mean, you run with a pretty strong herd. I mean, if you want to see what I'm made of, we can we can settle this right now. Rufio, don't fall for it. My boss is very interested in you. Who's your Who's your boss? Oh, you know him. Know a lot of hymns. Yeah. As you can see, I run with a pretty strong pack. Oh, it's funny you say pack. And you see him, and his muscles start getting bigger as this gray fur just starts filling oh, and shit. sprouting out from the other side of him. And he goes, oh, All right, kid. I see your fucking metal. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative as four other fucking werewolves are going to come out. God, not rolling well. Oh. 11. Let him get situated. Thanks again, Carlos, for these awesome werewolves. And the painted bases. Oh, they're just kind of different. <laughs> Ralph. Okay, so. All right, anyone over 20? Negative. I am 26 years of age. <laughs> 15 to 20. Uh, 19. 19, so Let's see. Uh, 10 to 15? 11. 11. God damn it, fucking Rufio. <laughs> Negative three. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're our cheerleader okay. now. Let's put this person here. Okay, uh, five to ten? Seven. <laughs> okay. What's your initiative modifier? Three. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn it, mine's a plus one. <laughs> uh, let's see here, and then... Maybe... <laughs> well, Dirt rolled a three, so don't feel that bad. <laughs> Fuck you, Dirt. Yeah. Okay, and so, at the top of the round, Casimir is going to step up. What? Oh, Jesus. He rolled a nat 20. <laughs> Fucking. He goes, and you see him kind of like wave his hands and you see this arcane magic kind of sprout about and he goes, if you know what's best for you, you're going to want to back down. And they just growl at him. And with his first move, he is going to cast Wall of Stone. So you see instantaneously this giant wall that's about six inches thick and about 10 feet high sprout up in front of the, the werewolf there. And he goes, really? We're doing this? We have to do this now. I mean, they didn't really give us much of a choice. It's, I'm, it's a fucking fuck. Shart, you're up. Yeah, not much of a chance that you could just outrun all these fucking werewolves, buddy. Got to don't got much of a choice. Okay. All right. Um, so what are we doing? Well, I can't go towards main guy, so... Let's see here. Do I recognize the main werewolf in the center? No. No. 15, 20, 25. <clears throat> All right. Before I roll an attack, am I hearing anything or am I still good? No, nope, don't hear anything. Okay. And I roll for attack, which is a 14. 14, 14 hits. Okay. And the second attack is a 23. Okay. As you make your hits, do me a favor. Go ahead and roll a wisdom save. Okay. You got it. Uh, All right. So stay the over there. <laughs> first one is um, a 15. Okay. And the second one is an eight. Okay. So uh, go ahead and roll all of your damage. That's what I just did. A 15 and an eight. A 15 and eight was your damage. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, I'm not raging. Oh, okay. Uh, wisdom save, uh, yeah. 19. Okay, 19. So you don't really hear anything as you're able to just fucking lay into him, and you did 15 and 8. Yeah, 23 total. 23 total? Wonderful. Yeah! 
Bring it, wolf boy. And you just, you fucking lay into him with this. Are you using the axe? Yeah. Okay, and it just kind of chunks into him, and you guys are, like, waiting for the other shoe to fucking drop. And Shart looks fine. As he just rips this back out, and this wolf just lets out this hellacious howl, and it is Big Blue's turn. So let's see what Big Blue's going to do. Try and jump over the wall, I dare you. (laughs) Triple dog day. Yeah. He means he has to do it now. It's just fucking rules. And he he just slowly stalks over. He's not even running over. He just <laughs> crushing onto the stone, and he's just eyeing you up and down. And he has this. If werewolves could smile, he'd be smiling right now. I'm ready for you. And then let's see. And then we have Gray here. Sorry, that's good. Doesn't have advantage, but. He gonna attack you. Why didn't you rage? Is that an action or a bonus action? It's a bonus action. It's a bonus action. I probably should have done that. Can I retroactively rage? No. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking, though, and not just doing it. I appreciate that. <laughs> I rage. No, it's not how that goes. <laughs> no, that's funny, though. <laughs> um, and he is going to do two claw attacks and a bite attack. Oh, fuck. Yeah, werewolves are three. Forgot about that thrice. We haven't fought a werewolf in a long time. So, yeah. uh, does a 16 hit? Yeah. Cool, that is the bite. And does a... Oops, sorry, 15 hit? Yeah. Does an 11 hit? No. Okay, so that is 2d6, a d8, plus four. Whew. So you take 14 uh, points of both bite and slashing damage. I need you to roll a con and a wisdom save. (laughs) Dear Lord. Okay. Stacking up now. Woo. Woo. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. So um, give me wisdom first. uh, Wisdom then is a modded 20. Okay. Now give me con. Uh, Con is a uh, 15. 15? Okay. So you just get bitten into your shoulder and you're like, what the fuck? And um, you you feel this like need to <clears throat> and nothing, nothing happens. Uh, let's see here. It is now Absidy's turn. Absidy, what are we doing? Okay. Well, I'm just going to start off by shooting my bow at this one. Okay. At green? Yes. Got it. Go ahead and roll. Ooh. 11? 11 hits. Oh, it does? <laughs> Neat. They have natural armor. Okay, so that means... Where's my... <laughs> You're like, ooh. So <laughs> I did not think that was going to hit. You're squishy. You <laughs> goo. Okay, so that's 12 plus 4, 16, plus another 4, 20. <laughs> Christ. So 20 points of damage. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> okay, this is not going to be long. Um, Okay, and you just... You fucking... And it just hits into the soft spot of his neck as he lets out this. What else are we doing? Uh, I will move forward a little bit. Okay. Is that like wooded area? I would say so. That's like brush, but not. But this I, is like I difficult. Over. This is difficult terrain. I would say this is just like fine terrain. Regular terrain. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna put a potion in anyone's throat. This fuck y'all. Yeah. Um, can, no one's hurt. <laughs> I can't use my bonus action to attack with a bow, right? It has to be my offhand weapon. Correct. Okay, then I'm done. Okay. Uh, then it is. Uh, I did the wrong blue, so that's fine. Just gonna keep getting closer to you, Rufio. You're up. Yay! Uh, first thing I'll do mm-hmm. is I'll yell out to everyone. Uh, keep the main one alive. I need to interrogate him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Priorities, okay, guy. <laughs> yeah, keep him alive. Um, and then I will move forward to this one to purple. To purple, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
and up close and personal, or are you taking ten? I'll take ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you'll be here, and then I'll cast hex on him with my bonus action. Okay. And I will attack. Okay, go ahead. Oh, that's a natural one oh. for my first attack. Okay. You get the opportunity to re-roll that, right? <laughs> no, it's only for damage. Ah. For damage rolls. My second roll is a natural two. Ooh. Okay. So I'm just going to say for the sake of argument, the first one, just you're just so amped up. You're like, I'm going to fucking kill some werewolves and I'm going to get answers. And then you just kind of smack your your uh, weapon down yeah and then the other chain just goes woo, woo, and you actually with your bot you kind of let go and it just goes woo, 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 and it's actually gonna land her oof that's far yeah <laughs> you're like I'm gonna put it all y'all's bread and then you just kind of bolloed it over their heads cool <laughs> oh wait oh no they would still wouldn't hit I was gonna say the natural two is an eight actually but that wouldn't hit okay so I'm gonna okay. just be like well, so retcon, if that happened after my first roll, I wouldn't obviously then attack with that my second. So can I like, I know it's an action to draw a weapon. So sure. can I like draw the, uh, my great sword? I take my great sword. Okay. I'll say you draw the great sword. <clears throat> okay. Cool. That's all I got. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. And then it's dirt's turn. Dirt is going to try to end this as quick as he can. And he's going to catch a uh, witch bolt. Ooh. Cause that's my favorite thing that he does. So that is, oh, that hits, definitely. And I'm just going to keep that here so I know what it does. Okay, and you see dirt, and he kind of just starts praying, and you start seeing this electricity arc off of him as this lightning bolt shoots off and hits your purple friend over there. And he lets out a very, very loud howl as of, part of his hair starts fringing and puffing off from the lightning damage. And we'll go there. Wonderful. And we are back at the top of the round. We are at Casimir. Let's see here. And Casimir, what do you want to do, bud? At a boy dirt. <laughs> at a boy dirt, dear Tay. Uh, he is going to cast Hold Person. Ooh. All right. Who are we? Who are we trying to fucking keep here? Uh, the big scary one in the middle. Okay. Thank you for saying the middle because. Uh, they're all kind of big and scary. Yeah. <laughs> nope. No problem. And you see him and he takes out this very long, thin wire and he starts uh, casting this energy into it and it shoots off into the, the big blue werewolf and you just see the werewolf just <clears throat> shake it off. As Shart, we're back up to you. <clears throat> all right. Who wants it? And I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh... Just since I'm there, both around me, is there any chance, like, with my first attack, I could just do a big swipe to try and catch both of them? Uh, I will say with both of your attacks, if you want to count it as one big attack, you can hit him and him with each attack. Okay. Fair Somehow. enough. <laughs> uh, so, first, the one directly in front of me. Well, I've been allowed to do it before, so uh, that is a 18. 18. Okay. And before you tell me the other one, I need you to roll a uh, wisdom save. Okay. Uh, 16. 16 is good. Okay. And then roll your second attack and your second uh, con save or wisdom save. Uh, second attack is a natural one. Okay. 16. 16. Okay. So uh, go ahead, roll your damage. And that's going to oh, add. And I'm raging. Okay. You're raging. Go ahead and roll nice. another wisdom save for the rage. Oh, God. <laughs> He's raging. I know. Okay. You're so a little that's... more vulnerable. Fuck Knuckles. Huh. That's 18 points of damage. Okay, 18 points. And can you maintain Kinked. it? That is a six. Six. Okay. So as you swipe and you see this scarlet blood just kind of dripping from this werewolf, you hear, yes, so much better. Um, and you you go into that frenzy, but this time you don't black out and you're just like, Fuck yeah. And you see your arms getting, you get fucking yoked and you see your veins start to pop out and you have this knee that's like, I'm the fucking alpha here. I'm going to make this pack kneel to me and whoever stands in my fucking way. And as you go in this, you telegraph so far that the other werewolf is able, able to kind of duck, but you see this kind of shock and fear in his eyes and it feels fucking good. <clears throat> okay. 
question then. Yeah. While I'm doing this, so since I haven't blacked out, my eyes haven't whited over, do they notice that anything's different about me? You can... Do I get a spider sense? No. Uh, no. No? I wouldn't say so. Okay. But uh, if any of them are actually looking at you, I mean, on your turn, if you want to check in on Shart, Definitely. I'll let you roll a perception. But, you know, the only noticeable changes is fucking frothy mouth and those veins are fucking back. But this time, not whited over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. And we are going to move on to Big Blue. And he's just going to, he's just walking right up to you and he goes, well, you wanted me here, kid. I'm here. What you got, big boy? Oh, y'all show you what I got. And he's going to attack you three times. Sounds like a cockney bastard. <laughs> okay. That was good. Okay. So, uh, first off, does a 14 hit? Nope. Okay. Does a 26 hit? Nope. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I think it does. And does a 22 hit? Yeah, both of those hit. Hoobastank. All right. Uh, yes. That's one, because this is going to be your reason. Um, and that's... I got that. <laughs> yeah, it took me a second. <laughs> After this hit, you're going to be crawling in the fucking dark. <laughs> okay. That's right. Oh. They had another song. How many hit points do you no. have? 54. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> that is... Math. Carry the two. Math. Okay. Math. Uh, Math. You take, uh, combined of piercing and slashing, you take 34 points of damage cool. as he bites and he slashes into you. Holy and he goes, come shit. on to help. That will be tougher than that. That tickled kind of a little bit. Yeah, I did it. Oh, so much. Oh, I'm going to make it tickle better. It's going to get very sexual with it, <laughs> apparently. It's yeah. been a very sexual night. I'm not going to lie. There is tension here. This is the green's turn. So the one that kind of ducked and he's going to lash out at you. See if he hits. Okay. Does a eight hit? No. Okay. Does a 23 hit? Supposedly. Does a 24 hit? Yes. Neat. Okay, so those luckily... So he tries to lash out with you with the his teeth, and you just kind of bat him away with your forearm. As he does, that is... 46s. That was a natural one. <laughs> Another natural two. You should probably not use that one. This anymore. is a different dice. <laughs> try try starting it on the other side. And you take 18 points of slashing damage. Okay, so half to nine. Yep. So <laughs> as we move on to Abada, Abada, Absidy. Ab Abadashery. Guys, I'm going to die. I'm wearing a top hat. <laughs> and during this, I mean, you, you're, I feel like you're in within Shart's eyeline. I'll let you roll a, perce or a perception check. To see if you can see what's going on. 13. 13. You just kind of see short uh, raging, but you kind of see those veins back. So you're not quite sure if he's under the influence of anything yet or he's blacking out like he's been doing recently. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is your turn. What are we doing? Okay. Well, so I'm, am I wary based on what I've seen? Uh, that is entirely up to you. Would you be wary? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't trust Shart in battle right now. Okay. So, um. That's fair. Hurtful, but fair. <laughs> but I will, <laughs> I will still shoot an arrow at him at the same. At green? Uh, yeah, green. Okay. To three. Wait, I don't have advantage, right? No. No. Okay. So then, yeah, I missed that one. Okay. What's three plus what? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. Um, seven, so ten. Just messed, it. just messed it. So, so you just kind of, it. and it just, wh while he's moving and trying to duck Shart, he ends up ducking your your arrow as it sticks over to the other side. And then we are at uh, Big Blue. Well, I, I still have my. Oh, you still have your stuff? Yeah, I'm I still sorry. have my stuff. Um, so would I have seen the big attack on Rufio? Uh, you might have been able to hear it. You would, as you turn, you probably would see the aftermath of it, of just Rufio just fucked up. Okay. 
Because I think I'll run over there. Mm -hmm. so, one, two, three, four, five. Just en enough to get advantage on my bonus. Okay. My bonus attack with my offhand. 17. So 34 or 24. 34. Uh, I yeah, no, that doesn't hit. 25. 25 points of damage? No, 25. To hit? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. So, and that is... Where's my... No, I just have another D8. And remind me, that is sneak attack or no sneak attack? Pen works. Uh, no sneak attack. No sneak attack? Because you're not coming from cover. Well, it, I get sneak that attack if within engaged. five feet, right? Yeah, I get sneak attack if they're engaged with someone else also, since okay. he's engaged with Rufio. I, believe I didn't know if the bonus action didn't have it. I think it only has it on your initial action. Okay, then initial seven. Attack. Okay, so seven points? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you lay into him, and he just kind of shrugs it off, and he's like, I'll get you later, snack. No. How much damage did you do? Seven. Seven, okay. Uh, okay. Is it, it's me? No. No. Nah, it's not. I'm just gonna be here. It's fine. Six. Seven. One. <laughs> he's gonna move up on you. And let's do... As this werewolf's about to open his jaws, he goes, No, don't bite him. Boss says we want him human. So that is going to claw you. Okay. Does a 17 hit? Nope. 19. Yep. Okay. 19 got you. Don't worry. It's not too much. It's not like him. <laughs> He's special. I mean, what ifs? Okay, and you take six points of slashing damage as this werewolf just lays into you. Next one's going to go after you. Cool. All right. Does a 17 doesn't hit, right? No. Okay, and this other werewolf tries to get at you, and you just you are able to bat him away with your gauntlet. Uh, and now it is your turn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I will cast Vow of Enmity mm -hmm. with my bonus action on Big Blue. Okay. Um, so I get to attack him at advantage. Okay. I think he likes me. Uh, <clears throat> trying to think of my movement here. Uh, and then I will Misty Step out. Okay. Um, I'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blech, blech, blech. And then I'll throw uh, two Eldritch Blasts at him. Okay. Go ahead and roll your attacks. Uh, and spells. I think it's plus seven. Maybe I'll do better this time. Uh, that is a natural 18. And the next one is a natural is a modded fifteen. Okay, what was the first one again? I'm sorry. As uh, a natural eighteen. Okay, so both of them hit. Okay. Uh, Elders blast is one d ten. Hit two times. Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. All together. Yeah. Okay. Minus not eight. not my finest roll. That is perfectly fine. Uh, and then it looks like it's going to be Dirt's turn, and he already has Witch Bolt on it, so we're just going to roll the Witch Bolt damage. And this is still in the one that he had hexed initially? Yes. Okay. So it's purple. Six points. Okay, it is back to the top of the round, and Casimir is up. He is going to go... Shit! And he's going to... One, two, three, four... And he's going to look at you, Absinthe, and he goes, How good are you at dodging things? Uh, uncannily good. Okay, great. <laughs> and he's going to cast Fireball. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Ugh. Well, your save's good, right? Uh, oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. What is I, it? It's plus seven. And I get another plus one for this amulet. If I kill you, I'm sorry. Did you... It's okay. Are you wearing it? You didn't say that you equipped it. Well, isn't that what attuning is? I thought attuning yeah. was the process of equipping it. 
Yeah. You, what am? I don't remember. The amulet, the haunted necklace of protection. I didn't. I didn't see you attuned to that at all in the last. I remember him doing it. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing I did at the very end of the, of the last session, right? I think so. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, I remember doing it. But. Okay. Oh. What'd you get? Nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, so twenty eight. Also, big blue did avoid it. Um. I don't have enough d6s. I have d6s. Um, I got me six too. of them right Let here. Let me see what I have. Hold on. One, no, take my d's. Two, I got four. Does anyone have... I have four. I have, I have six. Give me the... Because we're all just holding our hands out. Give me the six, Mike. Son of a... Oh my god. I win. Fireball's great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for getting Would that in It would be fucking the... dope if one of you guys had a sorcerer, huh? It's uh, eight d sixes on a failed save. Wow! It's on still a fail? Hab- it's halved on a it's halved on a success, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you! You're like, what? <laughs> Are you there, Margaret? It's me, God. Okay. Let's see. That's six, twelve, seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> I fucking hate math. Do you want, do you What's your health, health at? 18 and 13? 14. What's 18 and 13? Uh, that is 31. 31. 31. Okay, so 31 of <laughs> one points of fire damage as these two just get fucking blasted. And it looks like red is actually... No, red's over there. Never mind. Purple is fine. Hmm. 30. Purple's fine? He No, they're both... Really oh, I was like... <laughs> they're what? actually yeah, both... In, not dead. They're both super fucked. <laughs> they're like... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, and he goes, yeah, not really a fighter. I mean, you said it, not me. It was sarcasm. Okay. Just keep fucking fighting the thing, please. Got it. Okay, and then it is Shark's turn. Ooh, I got my dice back. All right. How the fuck you boys feeling? That. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a natural 20. Ooh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Who did you hit? Rad? Um. Or- Green. No, I know that I've already got it, done a good amount of damage to red. I'm hitting green. Okay. Make them pay. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna butter their bread. That is six, eight, eighteen plus six is twenty-four plus two is twenty-six. 26 the first uh, is the first attack just the first attack yeah <laughs> i haven't rolled the second attack yet okay. which might go back towards uh the the red you let me know yeah <laughs> i'm just here oh uh-huh, natural one <laughs> <laughs> you keep on the on the back swing of this fucking thing you're like let's fucking go and then you're like maybe <laughs> so you just fucking this guy's just been a fucking wimp the whole time. He's been a fucking crybaby. He's been avoiding you. So you you decide to give him some attention, and you just fucking lay into him. And as you do, you kind of see the blood that splashes on the axe start to absorb into the axe. And you just hear, yes. And on your second swing, that's when Red takes notice, and he just kind of sidesteps you as you're in this frenzy. Uh, it is Big Blue's turn. And he's going to turn over. Oh, no, I'll get it to you. Hello, snack. Hello. <laughs> Little hungry. And he's going to attempt to bite and claw at you. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, God. You. Okay, let's see. So, Absidy does a 17 hit. If it's the same number, it does hit. Yes. Right? That's yes. your armor class, right? Okay. Yeah. So 17 hits does... So that's not going to hit. That's a... That's an 11. 11 doesn't hit, but... Nope. Um, 22 hits, correct? Yes. Cool. We're going to do some stuff. Oh, no. Mm. So two and two. That's 
You take uh, 34 points of slashing and piercing damage, okay. and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, so that was 34? Yes. And the uncanny dodge will half that. Okay, great. 17, which great. is still fuck me. <laughs> Ouch, kabibble. Let's, let's not get carried away. <laughs> Please make your constitution saving throw. Cool. Seven. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god. Cool. All right, and he just fucking wails into you, and you're just like, oh, oh god. And you've kind of felt this before, the sinking feeling of just like, oh, I'm gonna die someday. Um, and it is back to. It looks like we just did Blue's turn, so I think it's Absidy's turn. If I'm correct, yeah, he, he Big just Blue went. just went. Yeah, so yeah, so it's Absidy's turn. Absidy, yeah. you're up. Are, are the other two wolves still up? Yes. Okay. Well, I guess my plan changes anyway because you ran away. So I'm just gonna uh, attack him. Okay. Attack the big one. Go ahead. With my dagger. Eel sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen hits. Okay. Just gonna give me a. Do 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 eight. Eight points of damage. Okay. So I'll use my bonus action to disengage. Mm-hmm. And then da- then just run. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I only have five. Five. Um, what are you at? Fourteen. Okay, I'm gonna shove a potion down his throat. Okay. My bonus action. Cool. Or cunning action. Whatever. Whichever one works, that's what I'm doing. Gotcha. Two D four plus two, right? I believe so. Yes. It's a four. Mm-hmm. And a four. Nice. Ten. Yay. Woo. Math. <laughs> Yay, my, my, my stomach lining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in constant pain. <laughs> cool. I appreciate you. I got you, my dude. Okay, so it is these wolves' turns. They are going to start moving towards... Dirt. One, two, three, four. Cool. One, two, three, five, six. That one's going to go for Casimir because it incinerated him. That's fair. I mean, we got to be fair, right? Yeah. Equality. Fair is fair. Okay. We're going to first attack Dirt with Bites and Claws. Okay. So that is... need dirt to make a constitution saving throw okay as he makes out this loud like scream as this werewolf just bites into his shoulder and then slashes down his uh his chest uh let's see we're at here and then the second one is going to attack casimir who's probably real squishy yeah, he's a, if he's a sorcerer, he's definitely squishy. Two natural 18s and a 16. Gross. Oh, God. Approximately. Die. <laughs> <laughs> fireball, fireball, quick, quick. <laughs> Didn't he hold a reaction? I thought he said that. <laughs> Sixteen. Okay. And I need him to also make a constitution save. Uh, okay. He is fine. Uh, b- 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 okay, we are back to Rufio. Uh, I'm going to drop Hex and cash, cast Hunter's Mark on Big Blue. 
Okay. I'm just going to use this for the sake of everything. That's fine. Okay. Um, and I'll whisper to Absidy before I go up, grab, grab my scythe. And I will then go up. Miss me, big boy? Oh, like you won't believe. Mmm, that's not great. That's way better. Modded 17 for the first, or natural 17 for the first attack. Okay. Another natural 17 for the second attack. Um, Roll some damage for me. Great Swords 2d6 plus 2, I believe, is what I have. Great Sword 2d6 plus 2. I'm going to drop a, a smite as well. Okay, go for it. Uh, it's d- 2d6 plus 2. And then smites are d8, yes? Yeah, 2 d 8 per spell level. Yeah. So it's 2d8 for the initial, and then each spell level you increase by one. Yeah, I'm just going to do first level. Okay. That's a lot of dice. Uh, And that includes Hunter's Mark dice, too? Oh, no, that's an extra d6. Yeah, you're welcome. Good call. Very good call. I'm going to reroll both. Oh, my God. All of these ones. Fuck you, Mike. (laughs) Oh, that was so much better. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 21... 28 plus 2 is 30. 30? Yeah. Yeah, very palpable hit. Uh, that was for... That was for one attack. Okay, let's see the next one. I won't dump a smite this time, but I'll still do the 3d6. Let me roll that one. And that two. Uh, 12 plus 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. An uh, additional 17? Yeah, so okay. 47. 47. Seven? You My said boy. you missed me. Well, you did 48, and then the second one was 47? No, no, no. He no, did no, 47 no. altogether. 47 total. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's his hit point. Sorry. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Gotcha. All right. And now we are at Dirt. Dirt is going to... He's going to attempt to hit with his weapon. No, he's been attacked. He's able to hit. Does anyone know how running jumps work while he's doing stuff? No. Okay. I'll ask him when he's free. Blue. I get an extra four feet if I running jump of movement. Okay. Which effectively brings me up to 30. Yeah. So I can get an extra square. So I'm just going to jump around everywhere. Running jump everywhere. I believe in you. Thanks, Shark. Be careful. He might, if you get too crazy with that, make you make acrobatics. Or athletics checks because, like, you go out fuck you guys. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I just want to know how it works. Okay. I mean, I feel like it's not like a long jump because you're not long enough for that. So I feel like you'd have to, like, get off of something. Like, it'd have to be, like, off a wall. Well, it's a running jump. You can run and jump. Yeah, but your legs are so tiny. Well, four feet? For it's you? relative. Yeah, four feet because I'm. Cause I'm uh, I mean, I, I again don't know how it works. That's not but. hard. I can I can run and jump. Okay, like six it feet. is the top of <clears throat> Casimir's turn, and Casimir is going to step back. You will take the opportunity against him. Mm, stupid. <laughs> the guy's a sorcerer. He knows what he's doing. Apparently not. Kind of. <laughs> and as he moves back, he takes another. Shit ton of damage. <laughs> and he's like, mm, all right, that's oh, fucking done with that. So, how are you guys at dodging things? I know the short one is. Uh, uncanny. Uh, rhetorical. Oh just, god. You see him, uh, and he starts instead of where he had fire. You start seeing this ice comes out as he does a oh, cone of, of cold. cold. Fuck. How far does that go? 60 feet. It looks like it oh, is I think 20 foot radius, 40 foot high. So it's going to be choop. basically this. Oh, dirt. Oh, dirt's right here. Oh, oh baby boy. So 20 foot radius. Oh, it's 20 foot all around. So let's make this the center point. So, or this. You might be able to hit two, big blue. One, two, three, four. I'm just, sorry, I'm trying to figure out where yeah. I need the center point to be. So one, two, three, four. It's probably that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's just two, three, four. It's this. 
for those watching at home. Uh, you can kind of see it on the top of the screen, but it just hits, Four. just barely hits Rufio. All right, I need you, Rufio, to make a deck saving throw. Fuck. Uh, 14. 14. Let's see what the DC is. Okay. And then I have three in there. Hey. Fucking big blue. Okay. What, did uh, he succeed again? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Rufy, you're going to take half of this. Okay. Uh, can I have one more D6? Gotcha. It is two D8s and four D6. <laughs> Color me concerned. <laughs> concerned. <laughs> Okay, so that's two, four, six. Okay, eight. so that is twenty points of damage. They have to ten for and me. You got ten. Yep. Okay, and he got ten. That's not the worst that, that was, could happen. I to expected me. it to be way worse. Yep. And Lay we have on what? Hands. purple and. I, I like one two, but Rufio's seeing red right now. Both both of these two look yeah, on just. Body. Fucking wrecked. Oh, that's the blood? Yeah. <laughs> Shark, you're up. Hey, right, little other guy. I know I hit the other one first last time. This time I'm going for you. Stop talking. Feed. So, first attack is a. Who are you hitting uh, first? Um, red or. Red's green. the one that I'm tech, my character's technically facing on this, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, then, yeah, going for red, and okay. that's a 17 for the first hit. 17 hits? Okay. And that is... Oh, that's not much. Uh, that is 10 points of damage. 10 points? Okay. Mike, move the... Okay. And you're good. Finish it. All right, I'll just go for that one again. That is uh, 26. <laughs> 26 hits. And that is... 13 points of damage. Okay. So... As you lay into this, you see the life drain from his eyes and you see the blood start being soaked into this axe and you see it start to spiral down the, the axe blade into the handle and it starts covering your your hand as it looks like it seeps in and you hear, oh, good, and add one to your uh, strength mod as you take a point of strength from him. How do I do that? So whatever your strength is, just know in your head it's plus an additional one. You can click on strength and it says other modifier and you just do that. Oh, so and other just modifier, keep that. just add one? Yeah. Yep. Wait, just make that? sure that you are aware of just click on you strength. Click on it. Yeah, and then it says other modifier. Modi okay, modifier. It doesn't change anything for me as of yet. Oh. Oh, okay. What about the override one? No, no, no. It, it added the plus one on it so it's now showing 21. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying it didn't change my modifier is what I'm saying. Like, oh, like it's 22? Yeah, 21 is still plus 5. Got it. So, that's what I was commenting on. Yeah. Sorry. Got it. These two werewolves are still up in front of the dirt. They are. Whoa. Barely. He's they're, up. They're very... They're, they're like, barely attached. Like, this meat's barely attached to their bones. Did his witch bolt do anything last turn? It did. he has witch bolt. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see here. And now it is Big Blue's turn. He's going to turn around. Turn around. Big blue. And he is going to grapple you. I need you to make a strength save. Uh, 14. 14. Okay. Uh, he, he, you start batting him away and he goes, no, no, don't get cheeky. And he puts both arms behind you and he starts crushing. I think I'm going to do it. <clears throat> and you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage as he just... <laughs> uh, so, I want to do uh, Hellish Rebuke. As, and a, as a reaction? Or? It's my reaction. It's okay. a spell I can do, but it's 2d10 fire damage. I point at him. Mm -hmm. Will that affect me, or is that just... You're in it, so you would, get, you would take it. Still going to do it. Okay. Uh, so I'll cast Hellish Rebuke. 
Uh, and it is a dex save of 15. I'll say he has it at disadvantage because he's grappled. He's grappling you. <laughs> and you're on top. He's on top of you. And you you start seeing like the things start to flicker, the flint on the ground pick up as he sidesteps out of whatever this flint is. Does it is it half on a failed save? Yes. Okay. Uh fifteen. So, so half, half of fifteen to eight. is eight. Okay. And how I would take half to, as well? Correct. Alright, I'm down. Oh <laughs> not a lot of fight in him. We got what we came for. Wait, you guys are going away? Uh, let's see. It is Red's turn. Red is going to attempt to attack Shark again. Uh, 26 hits? Yes. Okay. Um, 10? No. 11? No. And you take 10 points of uh, piercing damage as it bites into you. Half to five. Okay. Uh, Rufio, make a death save. Or, I'm sorry, no, it's um, Absidy's turn. My bad. Okay. So Still be ready. Is he, so he's not grappled anymore? Who's, no, he is. He's holding him. So. I thought he stepped away when the... He oh. stepped out of the hellish rebuke. Oh, okay. He made the deck save, but he still has roof. I mean, in his arms. Yeah, it's not really like a step out thing. I point at him, and he catches on fire. Oh, he made the save. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless. Okay. Um. Well, fuck your weapon because you're down. So. Fuck your couch. Uh. Mm, oh, that doesn't count as him being engaged, does it? I mean, yeah. Sure. Well, no, because you're down. He's not engaged with anything. He's down here. That's up right? to God. I'll say it. I'll, I'll give it to you. He's engaged. Okay. Then I will. Because they're going to run away to Vermont together. Oh, cute. It's nice. All right, so. Isn't that where Martha's one, two, at? three, four, yes. five. So I'm on the opposite side. What's that now? Snack, you want to come too? Yeah. So I jump on him and just stab him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, roll an attack. Uh, 25. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that hits, bud. So that's my sneak attack. Let's get these cards out of the way. That was a lot of dice. Uh, do six. Six, 12, 16, 18, plus five, 23. You doing lethal or non-lethal? Lethal. Okay. And you get up and you're like, fucking, and you find that soft part of flesh and membrane in between the neck and the collarbone, and you just sink the fucking dagger in as... You see Big Blue, and his breathing gets labored. And you see blood start coming from his mouth as he drops to one knee, drops Rufio. And soon he is down on the floor, and he is not breathing. So we've got that. It is red and... It's my turn. Oh, make us death save. Nine. Uh, how is it your turn? You that just is. Did... I, yeah, I still have my, oh, my bonuses up. Your too. bonuses? I'm sorry. Yeah. I always forgot. Is there anything bonuses. I can do to bring him back up? Like a potion? I think you can do it as a. No, it's an action to do it to someone else. To give a potion. You can use fast hands, but that's the only. Yeah, can I. If I shove a potion down his throat, will that bring him up? Should. Yeah. Okay, then yeah, I take one more step forward, shove yep. a potion down his throat to bring him up. Sure. And then as I do that, I say, I'm sorry, I killed him. Uh, three plus two, right? So five? five. Yep, five. As soon as you get up, obviously he's like, I'm sorry, I killed him. He's not dead yet. Um, I'm, I'm up now? Yeah. I'm up. Are, up. Is he, are you, are you done? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh. Can I, can I, yeah. Oh my God. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. Let's keep that note. It's their turn. Oh, it's their. Oh it's wait, is it your turn? What yeah, the fuck? I forgot what the turn order is. Go. Yeah, yeah. I'm so already I losing go it. I need one, caffeine. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You're at uh, purple. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, technically, since he's engaged, do I get bo? Do I get advantage or no? He's engaged. If you with fought him and you went behind him, you would. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, I'll attack him with the great sword. Natural nineteen. That hits. Okay. We roll this two. It's still a two. Uh, ten points of damage. This one's down. Uh, As you just fucking lay into him, and then... I'll cast uh, Eldritch Blast at the other one. And this one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that is... Uh, modded... It's a natural 10, but my spell attack is plus 7, so 17, modded that 17. Uh, and that's a d10. Uh, that's 5. Okay. He is just like... Ugh. Oh, fuck, just fucking kill me now. <laughs> God damn it, I wish I could have. I tried. And then it's Dirt turn. Dirt's turn, and he goes, I'm sorry. And you see him, and he just kind of reels back. And you see him, and he just poof, cracks this fucking werewolf in the nose, and you hear it just crack as the cartilage kind of just breaks. And he immediately shifts into human form, and he is currently on the ground unconscious. Uh, we are at the top of the order, and Casimir is going to... One, two, three, four, five, six. And he goes, don't worry, big man, I got it. I can handle him. Uh, he is going to... Cast magic missile. It don't miss. Don't never miss. Come on. Whoa. I just want to see how many d4s it has, and for some reason, it doesn't want to load. <laughs> it is. Okay. He's gonna cast it at third. It's d12, but so it's. <laughs> 3D fours, 3D fours, a maximum of twelve. Yeah. Because so once I blow, they know that I'll be the man. We're gonna get flagged. I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Is that it. Eminem? Eminem, Eminem, Eminem. And you see just these three darts, and this this werewolf is not looking so hot, as it is Shart's turn. Finish it. Yeah, Feet. that's the plan. Uh, that is a first attack is a um, uh, 26. Yeah, you got it. Let's roll your damage, Mike. Second attack is a 13. Let's roll your fucking damage. <laughs> uh, first one is uh, plus uh, six plus uh, 15. That's exactly it. Well, how do you want to do this, Mike? Uh, I'm just going to fillet him. You guys hungry? You want werewolf? You want no. werewolf? Well, I'm no. gonna fillet him anyways. Let's make some werewolf steaks. You can eat werewolf? Yes, fucking werewolf. who cares? <laughs> and you fucking just. You hit a uh, clavicle and it just goes. And you just part him perfectly and just bisect this fucking werewolf as it tries to shift back human werewolf and just flays out. This werewolf steaks just like Pac Mama used to make. And weird cannibalism. Is that? Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They're not real werewolves. So, They're not were real wolves. So as you're looking at all the the bodies, they all slowly shift back to their human forms, but they're all naked. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> My <'Cause>, Protestantism. <laughs> because they're all werewolves. Um. So the first thing I'm gonna do mm -hmm. is I'm going to run, pick up my weapon, okay, put it in my thing, and. He's dead, right? Yeah. I can't, like, do a little lay on hand magic and wake him up? He is not breathing. Got they it. murdered him. So I'll uh, I'll go over to this guy and tie him up. Okay. Guy in front of Dirt. And I'll look at Dirt, and uh, and I, I assume that I would say it to Absidy walking past him, and I'll be like, just give me some space for a couple minutes. Okay. And I drag him into the into the brush. <sighs> Okay, and you just, you fucking drag him. Uh, Shart, 
you are still fucking amped up. Like you're you're it's like you just took a whole shit ton of pre workout and you just worked out <laughs> and then you still wanna work out after the workout. Like you're ready to punch a tree and then just snort some pre workout. I don't obviously I've taken pre workout before. <laughs> and you're just you're just fucking amped. If you snort pre workout it hurts. Oh. You're and, such a bro. And you hear <laughs> I did it one time. And you hear the axe go, We did good, didn't we? Yeah, I did better. Hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. See what I can do for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you are you're in the woods with this very unconscious dick out man. Yeah, and I, dra- I he's he's all like tied up and shit. Mm-hmm. Dragging him by the long, cool, 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 cool. short and curlies. No, <laughs> yeah, that sounds awful. <laughs> um. I'll, like, kind of slap him uh, awake. Uh, huh. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, uh, God, just fucking do it. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna wait on that just a minute. Do I check his arm? Does he have the, the brand? Go ahead and roll an investigation for me. Son of a bitch. That's never good for me. <laughs> You, Damn it. You do very okay at a lot of things. My investigation is one of them. zero. That's a natural 19. You see on his forearm the brand. And I'm going to give you a picture of it. <gasps> yeah. It's almost Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, those why we pair. <laughs> we do make a pair. <laughs> you killed my whole pack. <laughs> so this is this is him, right? He's trying to find me. I don't I don't I'm a fucking underling, man. I followed I followed Alistair. Alistair, the, the the big dead one. Yeah. Where is he? I can't he fucking I'm gonna fucking die anyway, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, but you get to decide now how you die. You can die in pain and tortured, or I'll make it quick. I'll die with fucking honor. Uh, I'll put my gauntlet on and okay. I'll punch him right in the face. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage on it. I'm just gonna because it's a fucking he's tied up. It's uh, a crit. what? What's the dub? It's D4 and uh-huh. then uh, it's silver damage, so he doesn't resist against it. Isn't that dub? Dope doble? Yeah. Okay, so two D4s. Mumbled. So we'll say usually it's like a D4 and then double that, but we'll say for the sake of clarity, just do two D4s plus your strength modifier. Reroll that one. It's another one. That's seven points of damage. Seven points? Boop, yeah. Passes right back out. And I'm going to poke him, lay on hands. I'll just one. Boop. Uh, uh, hey, buddy boy, we can do this all day. Oh, uh, God, all fucking night. One more time. Let's do it again. Okay. Uh, seven more points. Okay. Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fucking kill you. Is he? Yes. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Tell me what I want to know now. What would you like to know? Where is he? He's in his den. Where's the den? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I was thinking... <laughs> I said next to the foyer. I was trying to say it to myself. Gotta I'm go sorry. masturbate in the den. <laughs> trying to have a moment. That's what I was saying to myself. You did a bad job. I was literally thinking right next to the entrance to the house. To the west of here. The mountains. So at this point, you guys have gone kind of up north, and then basically you need to make a right east back to Valakai. Mm-hmm. So at this center point, he's mentioning it's west. So as opposed to, you know, down to the mountains, then to the left, he's yeah. just saying it's straight left. Straight west. So from here, it's straight west. From Basically. <sighs> You're not ready for him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's a lot stronger than that. Blue. Than Alistair. Guess that makes you a little bitch, doesn't it? I serve my purpose. What For was the your black purpose? To, to, to die? Is that, is that your purpose? To he serve sent you to my the pack. slaughter. You're not gonna fuss with me. I serve my purpose. Blackthorn, he said? Yes. How many more of there are you? How many more of them are there? 
We are mighty, we are many. Here? You slaughtered all of us here. My den, there are thousands upon thousands of werewolves there. My old clan. What does he want with me? He wants to see you again, see how you've improved. Something like that. He'll see me soon enough. And I'll He's take my dagger on it. and slit his throat. Okay. <laughs> and blood just pours out. And with that death, we are going to end it here. And we will move on to the next part of our task. Woo! Whoop. Well, what an episode that was. Um, yeah, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, let us know what you thought of all the murders. Fucking pumped! And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Top tabling. I'm there. We're not doing streams anymore at the moment of this recording, but you can go on our YouTube. You can see all of our past streams. Or if you want to show us some love on Twitter, you can do that as well. We're going to start doing things on DMs Guild. So, for example, Rufio's site I'm going to put on DMs Guild. So if people would like to use it and buy it, you can. Also, my DM Shane is going to add a whole bunch of more cool shit that he's been doing. His first uh, campaign is going to be a complete... Uh, he's making it into a complete uh, module. So that's really exciting and cool. And feel free to donate to that cause. Woo! Neat. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.